Hey guys, Maximus 5 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at my custom Earth Spark Soundwave. This is a very old custom of mine, well not very old, but fairly old. And I love the Earth Spark Soundwave design so much, and we didn't actually get a deluxe figure or warrior figure, which really sucks. We only got that one step, and I do hope they release a deluxe or warrior in the future. But uh, for now, I've made my own custom one. And I think it turned out all right. It's an, it doesn't transform, by the way. I don't know how I would make that transform. But yeah, it's an amalgamation of parts. I'll get into all the parts usage in a moment, but first we'll just take a look at the gun, if it can come out. This is just Legacy Kickbacks gun. Just painted in, uh, I changed the purple to blue. Thought it'd be a nice color, and yeah, it actually looks pretty good. And going to the figure, I used Tamiya dark blue, just, just regular blue. I used gold, um, I think it was titan gold I used, and then I just used red and then chrome. So yeah, that, that should be all the colors, yeah, and dark right here. So uh, these parts are just to fill in like the gaps. Uh, these are, This isn't accurate to the robot mode at all. His, his robot mode back is very clean, but I tried give him, giving him these little like wing things he has on his back. So yeah, I just used Lego for that. These parts are off Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave, the Judo series Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. Uh, these arms are off Legacy Clampdown. Uh, these parts of the arms are off Legacy Blur. That'll be the Speedy 500. The legs are directly off the Legacy Kickback with a little bit of Lego here just to make it a little bit more bulkier. And yeah. The whole chest area is Legacy Blur. The gun is from Legacy Clampdown. These parts are off uh, some Gundam, just to give him that little like spiky effect he has going on. These parts are a little bit too bulky, but I don't mind. This head is off a third party War Within Bumblebee. Uh, I like Bumblebee with no bow mask, so I just use this bow mask. Don't know where these ear pieces came from, I forgot. And then this piece. I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> uh, a little bit better look at the head. Uh, I know Soundwave has a painted bar uh, mask, but like in Earth Spark, he doesn't. So I just kept it as it is. This is made out of a little headmaster from Time's Return. And that just goes on a little ball joint. It is, it doesn't go on very well though, sadly. So. Head pose ability when you move it, it can come off as you saw there. So yeah, just putting those on. Uh, these uh, these parts are from Legacy Blur as well. You can kind of see a big gash in there. That was accidentally when I where I tried to cut it off, and it kind of bent. Uh, these little pieces right here, uh, they like extend the arms. Those are just Lego. And yeah, so that <laughs> this is a Legacy. Well, this is yeah, F Spark Soundwave. As you can see, it doesn't transform. It's gonna be a very small review. Now I'll just put his gun back on and I'll get some comparisons in. So here we have one of his parts, uh, Legacy Clampdown. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, same arms. Here's Earth Spark Optimus Prime, the warrior version. Um, I don't actually know if this is scale accurate. I don't know if Sam was bigger than Optimus in the show, but oh well. And here we have Transformers R.I.D. Warrior Soundwave which surprisingly also has a legacy shrapnel gun because it kind of looks like a G1 gun. So yeah, it's, a, it's sort of height accurate, so. That's been my review on my custom Earth Spark Soundwave. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.